All right, today we're gonna show you how to install a lead screw replacement kit, and we're gonna be using it on one of our V562X self-centering vices. Now, the lead screw replacement kit comes with a center block, the centering rings, as you see right there, two centering rings. It comes with a socket head cap screw on top. This socket head cap screw will have a cap on top. These already come pre-centered on CMM. They also come with two additional shoulder bolts that you'll see where we're going to tighten them from the bottom of the vise. Now, these come pre-centered on CMM. The center block, center rings, the lead screw. So do not, I repeat, do not try to... Uh, uh, uninstall or take off that socket head cap screw for any reason it's already tightened it's already pre-centered on cmm it will not move it needs to you need to make sure that you don't take apart any of these components when you're installing these uh components onto the uh, uh onto the vice because then you might experience issues with centering and whatnot so since they're all centered uh pre-centered now we're going to assemble the left and the right truck now very important the vice it does have a right and a left side the the right side of the of the lead screw is that lead screw with the hole in it and it has a specific truck guide that goes onto that the other side does not have a hole the hole that side the right side of the vice it shows open right there that's the part that goes with the right side the right corresponding truck and then the other side is the left side which shows a torque value the left side of the lead screw has no little hole indentation so very specific right side and left side okay right side of the vise and left side of the vise each truck specifically indicates either left or right this one has an r for right this one has a left for l now what we're going to do is we're going to install the lead screw uh, replacement kit the trucks onto the lead screw replacement kit and what we're going to do is we're going to thread them in so that the end of the lead screw is completely flush with the truck as you see we're just winding it in uh-huh because what we're going to do is we're going to have them both on the same thread we're threading them in uh, one by one but we're making sure since the lead screw kit is already pre-centered that they're both going to be in the exact same position so a good point of reference is when the the trucks are completely flush onto the lead screw because the center block is exactly in the center so here we're installing the other the left truck and it comes to be flush they're both exactly threaded into the exact same location flush with the lead screw that's a great point of reference okay now without threading them in any further we're going to turn the vise over and we're going to install, just like I mentioned, the right side is the one with the lead screw has the little hole at the end. And so we're just dropping it in place. We're basically replacing the guts of the vise. And that's all. See? So now we have our lead screw replacement kit with everything and trucks installed. Remember, the trucks on these X vices have a keyed entry. So you have to have these locating pins for the jaws to be uh, uh properly installed and and give it the rigidity that we promise to our customers so now with those locating pins already installed the, the lead screw replacement kits installed we installed the trucks properly each side is flush with the lead screw okay now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to install the shoulder bolts that the lead screw replacement kit comes with and they go right on the bottom of the vise right and they're just two shoulder bolts they're exactly the same. We just tighten them down first with an Allen wrench, and then we're going to torque them to spec. Uh, the torque value is, um, what is that exactly? Uh, 120. 120 inch pounds. Okay, now the shoulder bolts are installed, and that's what holds the center block in place. Again, I repeat, do not mess with that socket head cap screw in there because that is what is holding the center block down clamping on the centering rings that have already been installed for you and everything is pre-centered so you do not have to mess with any of this stuff it's easier than everybody thinks so now we just install the the right jaw and then we install the left jaw that simple these jaws each side uses four socket head cap screws so then we install the four socket head cap screws. Okay. Now this vise is almost fully assembled. 
and ready for action. So we're just gonna tighten down these jaws. Be very careful to not over torque these jaws. We specifically have them uh, torqued down to the specifications from the manufacturer. We get these from uh, from the uh, from our supplier that provides us with the screws. We can provide you with that information upon request. We torqued at 120. And now we torqued them at 120, as you noticed. All right, just nice and tight, not overpowering anything. And now once all these socket cap screws are tightened, we'll show you exactly how this is already centered. As you see, now the jaws are moving in place simultaneously, exactly to the center. And it's right on the center. As you can see, it's right in line with that, with that measurement underneath the V562X indication. Another, another way to make sure that this is centered is that you're gonna notice both sides completely flush, okay? So that is exactly how we install the lead screw replacement kit. Very important, once again, I can't say this enough. If you take off the, uh, if you mess with any of these components that are pre-installed already and pre-centered, you may have difficulty. So please do not take off the cap that you'll see on top of the center block, leave it in place. It's already tightened down. The center rings, the lead screw, all these components are already pre-centered and assembled for you to be able to easily install them as we just did right now.